Which choice best describes data from the table that support Barrett and Rayfield's suggestion? The ter largest pteranosaurids, the family of carnivorous dinosaurs that include Tarbosaurus, Albertosaurus, and most famously Tyrannosaurus rex, are thought to have this had the strongest bites of any land animals in Earth's history. Determining the bite force of an extinct animal can be difficult, however, and paleontologists Paul Baer and Emily Rayfield have suggested that an estimate of dinosaurs' bite force may be significantly influenced by the metho methodology used in generating that estimate. So, the su suggestion from pa Baird and Rayfield is that the methodology strong significantly influences the estimate. So, option A says, the study by Mears used body mass scaling and produced the slowest estimated maximum bite force, while the study by Cost et al. used muscular and skeletal modeling and produced the highest estimated maximum. This is incorrect because the study by Mears did not produce the lowest maximum estimated bite force, it actually produced the highest, which is, uh, which is from 183,000 to 235,000. And the one used by cost at all wasn't the highest, it was more towards the middle, being 35,000 to 63,000. So A is incorrect. B. In this study, Gignac and Erickson used toe spoon interaction analysis to produce an estimated bite force range with a minimum of 8,000 newtons and a maximum of 34,000 newtons. This is incorrect because this does not support the suggestion where it says the suggestion being that the bite force is significantly influenced by, by the methodology used in generating that estimate. So B is incorrect. C. The bite force estimates produced by Bates and Falkingham and by Cost et al. were similar to each other. So Bates and Falkingham, so 35,000 to 57,000 and Cost et al. 35,000 to 63,000. So yes, they are similar to one another. While the estimates produced by Mears and by Gignac and Erickson each differed substantially from any other estimate. So Bear, Gignac and Erickson had 8,000 to 34,000 by force, and in Mears was 183,000 to 235,000. And these two had different uh, estimation methods. So C seems to be the correct answer because it shows that these two varied by so much and this may be because of the estimation method and while these two estimation methods were the same that these bite, the op estimated bite force is very similar. So C seems to be the correct answer. D. The estimated maximum bite force produced by cost et al. exceeded the estimated maximum produced by Bates and Falkingham even though both groups of researchers used the same method to generate their estimates. This is incorrect because the suggestion says that the methodology significantly influences the estimate, while here it just compares two estimates of this using the same methodology. So D is incorrect, and the correct answer is C.